Good morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am PJ. So, come on. We know the world is going a little cray-cray. People are on edge. Bad things seem to be happening with greater frequency. Seem to be could be an operative word. It could be that just everybody talks about it and they get your... <laughs> Did you hear? Um, but it does seem that way. One of those things that unfortunately uh, is happening all too often, how about that, is school shootings, right? Uh, they're terrible when they happen. Another bad thing is workplace shootings where a lone mad gunman comes in or maybe a couple uh, come in and they start shooting people and bad things happen. How are you prepared for that? How are your loved ones prepared for that? The people at Refuge Medical, refugemedical.com, designed a kit. They designed this kit right here, and I'm going to talk about it. Um, they designed it for school teachers. Uh, they designed it for people who work in cubicle land because look how small it is. See that? And it's vacuum packed and all that. I'm going to, I'm going to show and tell this kit in this video um, and explain to you why I think you need one. And I'm going to be getting, I, truth in advertising, I got this one for free. And as much as I don't want to, I'm going to rip it open so I can show and tell you all the ingredients. And then SK has already claimed it. Now, we don't work in cubicle land. SK is not a teacher anymore. Uh, but she wants to have a little first aid kit uh robust but still light because she doesn't want to carry like an aid bag around with her uh, that'll deal with all the things and so we're going to take this and stick it in a bag and you'll probably see that later not in this video um but i have three kids this is take four i don't think i've said this yet already um two of them are high school teachers one's a college professor i will be buying three of these for them uh, to give them in this condition and they can just you can stick it in a desk drawer you can have it in your purse if you want it doesn't weigh that much um, <clears throat> but it's designed for unfortunately those kinds of things in those types of events in mass shootings you know mass shooter or whatever do you know what kills most people because people die do you know what kills most of them lead poisoning pj yeah not really blood loss they bleed out quickly and you know how it works. It's law enforcement has to get there and clear the whole darn building before they're going to allow paramedics in. And that's way too long, right? That's way too long. And so with a kit like this, a teacher, a person in an office in a cubicle or whatever could take care of a lot of bleeding. I'm going to read you what's in it. And then we're going to show and tell. There's my glasses, my cheaters. <clears throat> There's three types of tourniquet in here. You've got your Cat 7, your Cat Generation 7 tourniquet. You have a SWAT T tourniquet, which I'm going to show you. You have this new really cool thing that works really good on little arms and legs called a Slishman pressure wrap. I'm going to show you that. Two compressed gauze, uh, trauma shears, nitro gloves, a survival blanket because people are going into shock when they're losing all that blood, duct tape. Two halo chest seals, because uh, you always need at least two, because there's an entrance wound and typically an exit wound. Uh, five by nine gauze pad, two of those, 10 yards of medical tape, and uh, four inch trauma dressing. Again, this is a stop the bleed pack for, unfortunately, mass shootings. And it's something that you can store easily anywhere. Buy this and forget it. Um, I'm going to tell you about two deals that Refuge Medical has upcoming. Well, one's ongoing and, and one's upcoming uh, that relate to this also. But I know you guys want to see what's in it. And I'm telling you, I hate opening this, but I'm going to open it. All right. So first of all, notice, can you see that? The, the, rip, the rip tab right there. They also have one on the other side because under stress, you're just going to grab it and go because little Johnny or, or Bob or Mary is bleeding badly. So we rip this open. And the first thing I come to is this, the Slishman. Uh, it's not called a tourniquet. It's called a pressure wrapping, but you can use it like a tourniquet. This thing is cool. Now, I am showing you tool set, right? I'm showing you stuff. You need training 
to go with this. Um, it, it's not super hard and difficult to apply these skills, but if you're looking at this and you don't know what it is and how to use it, it it's not going to be nearly as helpful as it could. So you open it up like this, and what you come to, see how the Velcro holds it in place? Pull this until you get to the red doohickey, the red slide. Now, the problem with regular tourniquets, it's SOP, we all carry tourniquets. Um, the problem with regular tourniquets is sometimes it's difficult to fit them on a little limb, like a little arm. They're just too big. They're, they're designed too big. With this one, what you do, let's say this is the limb right here. You just, whoop, you pull it. Look at that. No, I don't do redos. Hold on. If it was actually a limb, it wouldn't slip off the end of your fingers like that. You pull it till it's tight like that. And this is a little bit stretchy, right? And then you wrap it this way. And each wrap, you give it a little pressure. And every now and then there is, hold on. It's hard to do on yourself and somebody else. There's a little bit of Velcro that catches. See, right there, some. And as you start going tighter and tighter and tighter, <laughs> it starts cutting off all the circulation downstream. And so this works on little limbs. It also works on big limbs. It'll work on your leg. Um, the way it's staged when you get it, let me take this off. It's staged for a leg, which your tourniquet should be. So you don't have to fiddle with them when it's time. All right, here we go. Because of the Velcro, it doesn't unroll into a mess on the ground. All right, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. So it's staged big enough to fit over a leg, and then it's just wrapped up in the kit. Again, you should be familiar with this. When you have equipment, you should be familiar with its use. I was just talking the other day about how what kind of training everyone should have on simple things like firearms, right? But there you go. All right, so this is one method of bleeding control. There is medical tape. Contents list. Halo chest seal. This is for sucking chest wounds, tension pneumothorax. Um, and basically what happens is if you get a shot through your lung or through your uh, thorax here, your lungs quit working. You have to seal that off because it's a vacuum chamber, right? Again, you're going to need training to use these. But these are actually pretty easy to use. It's kind of like peel and stick. Um, there's more to it than that, but there you go. By the way, all of this gear is made in America by Americans, um, and it's sold and packaged by Americans. This is the emergency trauma dressing. You can see it right here. It opens up and it sucks up a lot of blood. You can tie things down with it. Quality trauma shears. Why do you need these? Uh, primarily to cut off clothing to, to expose the wound so you can get to the wound and treat it. But they have a lot of other uses, and if you have an oxygen bottle, that's made to fit on that. These are, uh, I think these are NAR, N-A-R, North American Rescue Shears. Um, but they're high-quality shears. You can cut a penny in half with them. Not that you need to do that. Here is a cat tourniquet. This is the one thing I don't like about this kit. <laughs> I'm, I'm honest. Uh, you should never carry your tourniquet like this in the plastic. Again, if you get training, you will know this. But one, it takes way too long to open and, and to get ready to use. Um, and two, it needs to be staged so that you can use it correctly. And this is not a class on that, but there are things that you should do with your tourniquet. And all the Shofarians carry tourniquets as part of our EDC. So this would just be an extra one. Uh, stretch it and then we put it whoop, put it down here like that and then we'll wrap it up so your tourniquet should be staged now 
What about you? What if you're depending on this kit? Well, you can open it up and reseal it if you have a food saver um, bag, or quite frankly, you should have more than one of these. This shouldn't be your only tourniquet. You should have them in your pocket, in your car, in your purse, tied to your gear. You cannot have too many tourniquets. Ask me how I know. Uh, but it has a, a Cat 7 tourniquet. Two, uh, they're called abdominal pads. They're big uh, absorbent bandages to, to soak up a lot of blood wherever. Um, and then, of course, you use the tape to tape it down. I think this is tape. Yep, this is tape. This is duct tape because duct tape rules the universe. It just comes in a fancy little cover. This is Z-fold gauze, and so it, it goes like like an accordion. You can use it for packing wounds. Uh, again, you need training on that. Uh, you can use it as a wrap for, for a bandage on the head or, or any part of the body, really. Um, but it's very absorbent, and it's gauze. Woo, I just dropped gloves. Two Refuge Nitrile Two Pair. Uh, gloves because some people are allergic to latex. This right here is called the SWAT T tourniquet. I'm not going to open this one. Um, what basically what it is 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 a rubber strip, a strip of very thin type rubber. Um, it's stretchy, and you put that on much like the uh, the Schlishman. And you put it on, you pull and wrap, pull and wrap, pull and wrap, and it gets tighter and tighter and tighter, and then you just tuck the end in. They also work really good on little limbs and things like that. You can also use these by not pulling them quite so tight to hold dressings on where they need to be and that kind of thing. But it gives you options uh, for applying a tourniquet when you need to do that. Oh, more Z-fold gauze, so you have two of those. Got two of a lot of things, two chest seals. There we go, there we go. I'm trying to make a pretty picture to show you at the end here of all the stuff you get. And then it comes with uh, instructions. Now, read the instructions, understand what you're doing, but gang, you need training. Refuge Medical offers training. You can probably get some decent training uh, elsewhere. Uh, I just don't know where. It doesn't really matter. But this shows you how to properly apply a tourniquet, wound packing, uh, applying a chest seal that I talked about, Udzavita, and stuff like that. Um, it's nice that they're doing that. Bleeding prevention kit. And so you get all of this. Can you see that? You do not get my coffee. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. How much does this cost? This actually, I think is very well priced. It's a, last I looked, which was two days ago, $120. That is a great deal for that kit, uh, the way it comes. And like I said, I'm buying three of them for my kids to, to put in their classroom, just stick it in their little teacher's drawer or, or whatever. Um, SK is gonna use this kit. We're gonna put it in a bag and she's probably gonna add like some Neosporin and some Band-Aids and stuff like that, little things. And that's just gonna be her deal around the mountain aid bag that she always has on her. She doesn't want a big heavy one that she has to carry, but this will take care of all the emergencies she needs to take care of. Um, so it's about 120 bucks. I will put the coupon code cause this is going out the Patreon first. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, if you guys want this kit, I would highly recommend you order it by the end of first day, Sunday, because I'm going to post it on YouTube probably around Monday. And I tell people this all the time. When I post things, they sell out. So if you're going to want one, I suggest you jump on it. And if you're a patron member, there's a coupon code down below that you can use for 10% off. So there's that. So that's the one deal I told you about. The other deal is this. Refuge Medical has an awesome deal coming out on night vision devices. A chance to win for free night vision devices. It's the four tube, uh, I think it's four tubes, might be two tubes. You're going to have to go to their site and look at it. 
they they click down they're like generation three night vision or something they're worth thousands and thousands of dollars and they're giving away a set free to enter you have to buy 199 dollars worth of stuff before the end of the month and then you're automatically entered to win um, this is 120 you buy two of them and you're good right yep <laughs> my quick math uh if you buy two of them you're entered to win and like i said i'm gonna buy three but i'm not gonna let them enter me to win uh and here's why i would love to enter to win because who doesn't need more night vision right i mean come on but it just wouldn't be right if i won you know what i mean i'm not technically officially part of refuge medical but they're my brothers and my sisters and i talk about them a lot because i love their stuff uh, and i just i can't win but you can you can win viking um and so i highly recommend you get over to refugemedical.com do i have something to show you here that says that no not really um Check out this desk kit that they have. It's like a stop the bleed kit on steroids. Um, check out their training. I know for a fact they have a class coming up in June or July, like this summer, they have a class coming up. If you haven't been to one, I highly recommend it. I have been personally to several, I don't know, four or five refuge medical training events. And so has SK. We've gone through responder one, two, and three. Don't think it's too hard. It's not. Um, and I have had training for most of my life, uh, high speed training in the things I've done. And this training is right up there at the top. It is quality professional training. And so I recommend them for that. Um, but this is the refuge medical desk kit. It's got all these goodies in it and, uh, yep. Go there and check it out again. Patreon, if you want it. Uh, I suggest you order it before the end of first day Sunday and uh, YouTube. Uh, if you want it, I suggest you jump on it. <laughs> I'm just telling you. All right. I appreciate y'all. You know what? I hope you never need anything in here. I really do. But I also hope and pray that, yeah, forbid, if you do need it, you have it available and you have the skill sets to employ it. But even if you don't, somebody else might. All right. I appreciate y'all. I will. See you out there.